everyone. Hey, hey, hey. We are excited to be here with you. Very much so. Thank you so much for joining us here at Linda's Electric Quilters After Hours Edition. Yes. Um, so what's been going on? What's new? What's not like we don't see each other every day, but what's <laughs> going on? It's not like our offices are across the hallway from each other. <laughs> like we don't know what's happening. I know, right? It's like right there. Well, know. you know, not much other than is it fall yet? Honestly, is it fall? I mean, I just got my box in for like the soaps and stuff that I bought. Oh, she gets yeah. mad at me for buying all this stuff, but <laughs> I have to change out the scents. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Thank you. We see each other. <laughs> um, but like I just got in all my soaps and sprays and everything to clean the house and I got acorn spice this month Yay. and it smells just like fall, but I'd like it to feel just like fall outside because right? it's 104 degrees right now it's, it's too hot it is way too hot it's like, too hot to be doing August anything in texas is just so hot it's brutal it really is it's, it's brutal. like it's, it's like the month we should just go away can we just take holiday take holiday for the whole Let's month just do in that. august yeah, right? all texans just take a holiday <laughs> just that go somewhere awesome. yeah, go north in the mountains where it's a little colder i know it's it nice. so hot so that's kind of what you know other than just staying busy working and yes very busy trying to come up with great ideas for the viewers you know we are so excited that we're able to do this live for you on thursdays mm -hmm. um and we just love the phone calls we've gotten and the emails that say, hey, thanks for... Little notes on all of your orders. Or on your That's orders. Very sweet. Yeah, yeah, it really makes us feel good because we really do put a lot of effort into this for you and we want to make sure we're doing a good job for you um, because we are. We're just here having fun. We're amateurs just trying to get good and enjoy it just like you. For sure. Right? Yeah. All right, what are we talking about today? Um, so today we are going to be looking at the Paisley sketchbook and the Paisley stencil, if I can flip it. There we go. And the Paisley stencil. Um, so on the stencil, you've got three different sizes to choose from, and you'll see how we get to use all three of those sizes today on the quilt. Why are you laughing? No, it was just like one of the comments is like she forgot something. She was scared because we scared the crap out of her when we started talking. <laughs> oh, she had the sound all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't mean to scare you, but we're glad you were waiting. <laughs> um, yeah, so three different sizes, laughing. and you'll see how we'll be using those three different sizes yeah. on the quilt that we have some, you know, a couple of different examples stitched out. Um, yeah, today. I think this is a, this is fun because it's just gonna it's not gonna be just one thing. It's actually how to make different things out of it. So I think it'll be kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It's fun when you can kind of do that with a stencil. You can do multitask with it. It's not just one. For sure. Yeah. Thing. A couple different uses couple out of it. Different uses. Yeah. So like we always like to do, we like to ask you a question and have a little snack. So um, Corey, what's our question? Before we get to the oh, question, oh, 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 oh. you, I, I, I did, she totally just took my line uh, away from me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I live for this every Thursday night just to say this <laughs> one thing that I get out of my life <laughs> okay and here it is always make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so right down there at the bottom right hand corner click yes. on that subscribe button yes. after you click subscribe make sure you click on the little bell that shows up so you can get notified whenever we post new videos or whenever we go live here at after hours yes awesome See, thank you now i've lived i can go home peacefully you now. have said your piece i've said my piece okay, okay what was the question today um so last week before let me preface the question Last week, um, when we were quilting, a few of you saw, quite a few of you, actually, saw um, a product that we had on the machine that we used to load the quilt. And you asked for a demo on that product, that product being the Red Snappers. So my question to you is, what products, besides the Red Snappers, mm -hmm. would you like to see demoed in the future here at After Hours? Yes. Because um, we're thinking of doing a few product demonstrations for you. That way you can also kind of see and understand the product a little bit more before you purchase it. Yeah, how to use it, what's, why it's good, why it's bad, I don't know. It's fine, just hop on the Rice Krispie <laughs> Treats. I didn't want a Rice Krispie Treat, it's fine. I'm hungry, can it's you tell? It's fine, I didn't want a Rice, you know, no, no, I don't know, I don't want yours. I'm no, good. you don't want mine? Uh, anyway, why you definitely. Got a, you got a loud snack. <laughs> I didn't mean to, so hopefully it's not too loud. Okay, All right. so while they're answering, let's go ahead and set up our first demo. Why, you, you, they can't hear you when you're covering. Oh. I was trying not to let him hear me chew. Get it together. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm getting older. He tells me that you, he's like, Mom, you're like, your mind kind of goes sometimes. We talked about that. I'm like, I don't think we did. He's like, uh, we kind of did. Hold on. Let me pull up the email. I put everything <laughs> in an email for her so I can pull it up. I love receipts. <laughs> There's just too much going on in this head to kind of keep up with all of that. Well, you're things. a super busy person. And yeah. little do you know, I mean, her and I, we, we love each other. But during the day, sometimes we... <laughs> butt heads because how can we not yeah. i am basically her and so she's fighting with herself um but you do so much for the business and so much for all of us here that i just think sometimes you just need to decompress yeah yeah you get so much on your mind 
Yeah, that's what it is. So much in the head. Okay. Too much in the head. Okay. Now that All I right. know what that emotional moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go um, take a look at. Show them what we're doing. Yeah, there. I'm gonna go pull up the book a little bit, a little closer. Look at the stencil, yeah. and then we can get set up on what we're gonna be starting to draw for y'all this awesome. evening. Awesome. Oh, do we have the book back there? Yeah, we do. We do. Mm -hmm. Go team. All right. So back here at the quilting machine, we have just got some plain space today starting out. Um, and then we're going to move along and do a couple of different things with some pre-stitched designs. Um, but let me give you an up-close view of the book. So this is the Paisley book by Pam Clark. And in this book, you've got a ton of different designs that you can choose from. Good ideas. We're going to work through a few of these today. Um, you'll notice in this book that these are just more ideas. They don't have the arrows to show you exactly how to stitch it out. And that's okay, some of the sketchbooks will be like that, but you've got plenty of design ideas to choose from in here. And we're gonna kinda give you that path of stitching for some of these designs. Um, tonight we're also gonna be using the Paisley stencil. So like I said, three different sizes on that stencil. And this is stencil uh, NA2409. And then on one of our things, we are also gonna use our handy dandy basic eight stencil that you saw us use last week along with through a lot of our other videos and then of course our chalk pencil and pounce powder. So you all set up there Diana? I am. Well, let's go. All right so I, I am actually going to be in page 18 if you have the book and I am going to use one of their um, examples from the back. So in the back of the book they actually have um, these little sketch outs so you can practice. So it's kind of fun to have that to practice on. And so we printed them off and we're going to practice on that one. So this one's the first one I'm going to do. Okay. And. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, the light has a little bit of a glare on it. Thanks. I'm just trying to get it. Okay. So I'm going to start here and I'm actually going to trace um, the Paisley out. So I think I decided I was going to start up here. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And try to stay on the line. Of course, I don't have to be perfect when I'm on the machine. It's a lot easier here. And then I'm going to go back and forth. Point, 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 point. Looks like a tiger. Point, 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 point. And then I'm going to take it. Trace back up. Look at that. Trace back up. And then I'm going to go point, point. And kind of just do that all the way. Give a little bit of curve. Make them a little bit smaller. And then uh -huh. go back up over here. Just like that, yep. And point. So I think you guys get the idea. So I'm just going to do this continuously. So one quick thing as you're continuing to do mm -hmm. that. So we'll come back down there. You want to backtrack up a little bit to this and then backtrack over what you've pre-stitched. So you'll start here and then go back that way. I was thinking that, but Yeah, no close off sure. your gap there. Yeah. And then you'll head up to here, just like you were. Okay, yeah. And then head up and you will go all make the way sure you over. hit that. Yep. And then backtrack. backtrack. And then you want to hit to this point before you start drawing because that's where the point where you have to start back up over here when yeah. you hit it. Point. Which is perfect. Yeah, I was just adding in that extra tidbit. You're doing a yeah, great job. Yeah, no. That's good. I was thinking that. I'm like, oh, if I back up, is that kind of weird? No, no, no of I guess you not. can backtrack. Yeah, you can backtrack as much as you want. Okay. So Looks I think like a that nice rope border. I like yeah. That. So I thought it would kind of be cool. I thought that to show that example of it. So let's go to the back and check it out. Okay. Go for it. All right. Here we go. So I've got my book again. A little farther out. Here we go. And I'm going to take my pounce powder. And I'm using the stencil here, and it has three different sizes on here. So I am going to actually use this size right here. I'm going to flip it over. And what's nice, and remember, you have to have the, the label down. You can, on this one, you can kind of choose your direction. So whichever way you want to take that um, swirl. Then, or that paisley, you can do that. So I'm going to start it off here. A little bit harder to hold. And then I'm going to connect it. 
and I'm going to keep pouncing at least to get a little bit of a guide for me because remember I want to go back and connect these lines so I have to kind of use the lines right there you could probably see them through the camera and I'm going to do like four of them for you okay yeah that gives a good idea kind of got a little crooked there but here we go so I'll take my design over here I'm going to start at the top again pull my thread up make sure I give it a good secure stitch and I'm going to come around And down and then I actually went backwards so we're gonna do this way this time <laughs> point 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 and I'm just saying the point to kind of help me stop to go straight and we're gonna go back that way come back down come over here to this point and then go point And you can make them as big as you want, as small as you want. It's all your design. You can go different directions with them. And pull this over here. Come back. Go back down the line. And connect over here. And start my points again. Point. Point. Point, point, point. Oh, snap. That looks good. I kind of went um, backwards, but it still worked. That's yeah, sure, it's all matters. As long as it works for you. It looks good to me. Well, and you can design any, you can do any design you want. And if they were more on an angle, it would even look different, more different. I like it. So that's just a kind of quick idea of what you could do. I like it, I like it, I like it. Alrighty. Yeah, so just a quick, so you could use that in any kind of sashing or border. You can make it smaller, use the smaller ones. You can angle it however you want to do. That was just to give you an idea that you can connect the paisley. So Corey, what do you have for them? That's beautiful. Okay. Um, so what I've got over here at the drawing board is I'm going to be working on page 26. And I've got this paisley that's kind of put around, let's say, for instance, like a heart shape. So I've got a heart on the quilt. Either let's say maybe you had an applique or um, just a, you know, a piece block that had a heart in there as well. Um, this would look really cool to kind of accentuate it and kind of give it this one kind of looks like angel wings a little bit on it. Um, you can see that you can work off of the Paisley design if you choose to as well. Um, so what I'm working with here is, you'll see when I line up this design how it's going to work with the heart and it actually kind of plays really cool. But I'm going to take this and I already have these designs um, copied out so always remember in the back of most of the sketchbooks or in the front depending on which sketchbook it is, you will have the designs right here that you can use and you can make copies of these and that way you can build up your muscle memory before you really get started on it. So for this one, you're basically kind of just finding more or less your starting space on how you want to work this point here. And I'm going to start right down here and I'm going to make my way up the side, work my way down the vein, just like so until I get to where these intersect. And then I'm going to come in with my, oh, there I go. Oh, I'm running out of ink on my red one. Uh -oh. <laughs> we'll switch to blue. That'll work. There we go. And then I'm going to come up with the first round of my feathers. So in here in the design book, you can see that Pam had added in this extra little sliver right here to give it a little bit more character. I want to actually have my feathers come all the way to the side of my paisley. So I'm going to kind of just 
leave that piece out and keep these flowing all the way over just because I like that design personally. So I'm going to take this, bring this out nice and big, and come back down and follow down the stem. That's what gives the feather its shape. Then we'll backtrack around it and down the stem. Down the stem, down the stem, and down. We're filling that up all the way as we go to the point. Now once we get here, now we get to do something that sometimes you can be a little bit um, kind of afraid of, and that's okay, but we're going to do a, basically doing our feathers backwards now. So I'm going to work my way this way. It's kind of reversing the way that you think about it. And these, you can bring them in a little bit closer if you want, or if you want to leave that nice open space, feel free to do so as well. So I'm working down the stem still. But since, since you're actually putting this in a heart, it would be good that you're bringing them close for that reason. For sure. Yeah, I have a hard time going backwards like that. Oh, working backwards now? Sometimes yeah. it can be. It can be a little bit intimidating sometimes. All right. And then I'm going to work my way back up this stem so I have something to follow. And then I'm actually going to do backwards feathers again to this point. Just like so. I'm going to keep that shape and the same number of them as well, as much as I can. <laughs> and I'll bounce over here to the side, and we'll fill this up. All the way. Remember to follow down that stem. All the way up to the top. Take your chalk line all the way down the side. And here is where we can add in these little kind of like wing pieces. And so Diana kind of just showed you all that with her rope border. It's just doing this. It's going to be like a flying feather heart. Yeah, kind of. It's going to be pretty. Take that up, come down here, and do that. And you will end right there. So when you see that, you would never think you would just take the paisley and do that you know you're just gonna pounce it out and then come out with something that pretty for sure yeah it's, yeah, it's amazing that's how that so kind of cool having all the ideas throw it the together book. yeah so okay here we go now i got to go quilt it out <laughs> you, got that, it. you got it not that bad this. drawing it sometimes when you come to quilting it that's a whole different story <laughs> all right so i've got my heart pounced on or excuse me stitched on not pounced on and i am going to use the larger paisley here and kind of mimic this out to where these flow. I'm going to keep actually most of the feathers in here, or most of the feathers are going to come in here to the center of the heart, excuse me, and the outer feathers are going to touch out here. And then the wing pieces will come up here and you can add a little bit extra. We might throw some more around this than is actually even needed. Um, I could take this here and put it around this piece of the heart if I wanted to. It's kind of all how you just want it to lay out. So I'm lining this up to match the curve of this heart, at least this top piece here, and you can angle it whatever direction you want. And I'm going to grab my pounce powder, do a nice little pat, and then hold this to the best of my ability. And you just need a little bit of a brush, nothing crazy. Just like that see flowing down that heart. Now you see this one, the heart that we have is a little bit larger than this stencil. So you can kind of get rid of some of that chalk and give yourself your own angle of a line to follow down to the center point of that heart and then bring out your paisley. So let me do that so you have that idea. Down to the center point and then out to the point of that paisley. That's what you'd like to do. And then we'll take this one and we need it to go the opposite way. There we go. And I want that to lay accordingly. Uh oh, got my stencil all messed up here. Lay that accordingly, and I can kind of match that up however I would like to. Now, with this one, you'll see that I have to, the way I have to get this angle in would be to do the label side up, which is normally a little different than what we're supposed to do. But the chalk that I use, as long as I give it enough of a little bit of a pounce in it while I'm going, it will work just fine. So give it a little bit of hit again, because I might need a little bit more chalk, because I don't have that texture to pull it out. A little bit more of a hit there. 
gives me the same idea. Just like that, so just by flipping it. And so then here, same idea, this one didn't touch to the center point all the way, so we can just kind of bring it in just like that and have it swirl out to that point. Love the chalk pencils. <laughs> I know they make Can't a huge difference. About I know they make a huge difference. To <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and chalk some of this out real quick so I can make, or pencil some of this out real quick so I can make sure I have my idea straight in my head because we're doing it inside of the heart as opposed to on the outside of the heart. So starting down here, a little here on the outside piece, I'm going to travel up in the heart and then follow some of the stitching or if you have applique you're doing a little bit of the stitch in the ditch there. Okay, and then I will come down the vein line here, give myself some arrows, that way I know which way I'm going, to where they intersect, and this is when I can start filling in this heart with its feathers all the way. So if you wanted to keep this just kind of inside the heart altogether, you could kind of just ditch the outside piece here and stay within what's going on in the inside of the heart, and then if you want to add some more stuff in there, you can. So let's start down yeah, here. That's a good idea, actually. So I'm going to start right here at the edge, yeah, and keep it inside the heart totally instead. It's kind of off of what I thought I was going to do originally, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. I can adapt. So we'll start up and travel upwards. Are okay, doing that stitch in the ditch at that point? We'll travel down the paisley line to where they intersect, and then we'll just come in with our feathers. So working our way, making sure we're staying down the stem. That's what gives the feather a nice shape. So we're coming up here, getting to be a little closer to the end. So we're just gonna slow down, make them fit in there. And now we get to go backwards with our shape. Keeping down the stem. Uh oh, there we go. A little smaller as we get down here, closer to the bottom, to this point. And then I will travel my way up. These again, trying to get these to meet. There we go. Just like that. Now we don't have that stem already stitched, so you kind of just want to act like it's there and continue to go down that chalk line to give it a nice shape. And we're getting here. So then we'll travel our way back down, kind of meeting all those points for the seam. And then we'll stitch this side. Now for this one, we're going a little bit farther out to touch our chalk line, working down the stem down the stem. Coming up to the top, going to set out. We can follow our stitching line or we can use our stitch in the ditch if we would like to, to come back down here. Just like so. And then for this point, this is when we had those little um, tiger stripes, I would call them, that Diana just did. So we can come in here and fill this section in. And I'm going to come here and there, and then I'm going to give them their shape this way. Just like that. Yeah, super cute. So de definitely a good way to keep it inside the heart if you wanted to. For sure. Or if you have something else, you could put those wings on it. There's just so many different ways you can adapt. Yeah, I could have taken more of the smaller one even mm -hmm. and put it out here on the side to kind of arc it out and give it more wings per se. Perfect. Yay. So something cool like that. Keep it inside. Okay. Just like that. All right, what you got for us? I, I just want to first. I want to give a shout out for everybody that's watching us. Thank you. Thank you for the thank thumbs you. up, Tia. Thank you for suggesting that. We love it. Thanks for watching us. Um, and if you guys didn't know, Tia Quilts actually has a YouTube channel too. So check her out. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do this one right here, which is page seven. And I'm actually gonna show it to you right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually trace out the paisley, just like I did on the other one, up and down. Then I'm going to travel down 
um, the vine is like what Cordis is. Come back, stop here, travel down a little bit more. I'm kind of giving a little bit of echo, travel up, come down, and then I'm going to go in there. Oh, you're going to do feathers. Put some feathers in. I can do this side up, but I can't do any <laughs> other side. Going backwards sometimes, yeah. Anyway, so then travel up. Beautiful. Yeah, so we're going to put that around a block, and then Corey and I are going to do it together. So I'm going to do this, and then Corey's going to show them some fun. I know you didn't know that. I put you on the spot, but you're going to help me with this one. <laughs> so okay. Let's, let's do yeah, it. that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! So excited. This will be our combo block. Okay. Yay, oh, combo Summer's block. Summer's looking at both of us like, oh, okay. Yeah, that wasn't planned, but we just planned it. That's what, you know, when you're live, you do spirit of the moment things. Okay, so. Am I going now, or are you going first? I think I'll go first. Okay, all right, so I can breathe for a second. Okay, you can breathe for just a second. And then I need to turn that around so it's going the right direction. Okay. And then. So we basically, what, we got to. You know what, I actually want like that, so look at there. Look at that little flip I can flop. rotate it. So right. we got a, what do we got, a square and a square here, basically? Yeah, square and a square. I'm going to do... Oh, I see what you're doing. You're doing the I'm sashing pieces. I'm lining them pieces. up. Yep, I'm going to do the sashing pieces. And then I'm going to have you do the block in the middle and then the corners. So come up with an idea. You're now on the spot. Hmm? I said come up with an idea because I just put you on the spot. Oh, woohoo. So excited. <laughs> I like to do that to him sometimes, and you can do. I can do that because I'm your mom. Uh huh. All righty. Okay, so let me go over here. Uh huh. And we'll do this. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I think I'll start on this corner right here. Okay. If you're having a hard time seeing the pink on here, sorry, I wanted to do pink today, um, but we can definitely go back to orange or yellow. Uh -huh. Can't you make it darker on the screen though? Okay, so what was I doing? Oh, was that a question for me? It was. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were talking to yourself. Um, yeah, I can try. I'm gonna let you do that while I figure out how I, I did this reverse on accident. Okay. It's all right. Now I gotta reverse it on my head. That's my okay. Hand. <laughs> I should have left it the way it was. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So I'm just following down the stem line here. I'm going to slow down a little bit so it doesn't look so bad. I'm going to trail down, get my little echo in, trail down, get my echo in, trail back over here. And I didn't leave enough room for my I think it'd be cool to do the feathers on the outside. Oh, yeah? I think it'd be nifty. I think you did that on purpose. Oh, I did? Okay, we're going to do the feathers on the outside. Oh, I meant the other outside, but that's, this outside works, too. This I outside. like this outside. Kind of gives it actually that true paisley look. You know how they have the little frills around it most of the time? That's true. So take an echo down the center, too. Do a center line right through all those and then put feathers on that side, too. I think that'd be cool. What do you mean? So get back to this point through the center. So... There you go. Just like that. And then echo. Or not echo, excuse me. Put feathers up there. Okay, I don't do the good feathers. You're doing perfect, just like that. Just like that. You're doing perfect. Woohoo! Oh, that looks good. Look at that. Oh, that looks real good. I think I'm moving. I can't they want to be feathers. <laughs> Woohoo! Can't want to be. <laughs> no, that's not what they want to be feathers, oh. not want to be. They're not their want to be. They want to be feathers. Actually, it turned okay. Okay. All right, let me just yeah. back. Okay. Take a look at that. So that's one. Okay. We'll, try, we'll try to see if I can get my original design on this one. I like that, actually. We're going to try back. I think the problem is, is that this is such a smaller little. <laughs> it's a littler one, a, a smaller one, one compared to what you're practicing on, on yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go again. Go a little bit slower on there to kind of get that guide. Remember, this is just an outline. You don't have to stay right on the line. If you do, you'll just stress yourself out. Ask me how I know. Okay, then we're going to go up and down. Another curve. And then I'm actually going to try the feathers on the inside on this one. There you go. I like that. And then we can... I can do this on the top and bottom, and then on the side I can do the yeah, other one. Yeah, you can do the other one, yeah. Yeah, I can have two designs. It was all planned that way. Don't let her fool you. She planned it that way. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> They're like, no, she didn't. <laughs> Alrighty, so have you been, have you been thinking about what you're going to do, Corey? Um, I have an idea for what I'm going to do for the center, and I think I also have an idea of what I'm going to do in the corner blocks. Perfect. I think I'm going to do the center first, though. Sounds like a plan. Alrighty, here we go. And then travel back up. Add me a little bit of a line in there. Uh -huh. Travel up. And a little bit of a line in there. And travel back up. And then I did the feathers on the outside. I would travel back down to there though, because I know you have an easier way of doing that. Oh yeah, you're right. Thank there you. There you go. That's why I have you here to keep me what I need to be doing. The there way. you go. And then kind of just take your way through that. Oh, you want to go backwards? I think oh, I'm gonna try. it can't be too bad. I'm gonna do an upside down feather. Okay, I like that look too. I like the flow of that. Look at you thinking of designs on the fly. There you go. Sometimes you have to. I think yeah. this is a good example how sometimes you just make them on the fly because what you practice over on your table might not be the same thing you do on a quilt. Okay, one more and then Corey gets to take over. Hopefully I'm not boring you too much. Corey, you're laughing at me. Why are you laughing I'm at me? I'm not laughing at you at all. Is it because I'm talking too much? I, no. I know, I'm just joking with you. Okay, so I'm gonna travel up the line here. Travel back down the line. And then put my feathers in. There we go. Okay, it's all you, kid. Oh, joy. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, I think I'm going to switch out the thread color real quick. Okay. That way we can. Is it really that hard to see? Uh, on camera, it can be sometimes, I think. Oh. I don't know, maybe. Okay. At least, I mean, it's, it looks good here, but, you know, they're saying they're having an issue seeing it, so we do this for the people. All right, we're going to change out the color real quick so we can make sure you see it. That's okay, because then they can see how bad I didn't do. Yay! Uh, <laughs> yeah. I planned that, people. It was all planned that way. Like, oh, so it was all planned that way. <laughs> oh, flip the wrong button. There we go. All righty. Well, while we're switching out the actual thread, do you guys have any questions? Um, please feel free to ask. Let me go over here and look right. while he's still switching it out. Oh. Sometimes the questions come up a little bit later. Oh, they said thank you for changing the color. You're welcome. I'll listen to Corey next time. <laughs> I mean, no. Oh, no, you you're wanted. right. You're right. It was brighter. <laughs> I just thought the pink would be prettier, I guess. The well, green. here in, in the in the shop, yeah, yeah right. it looks real nice. Maybe on camera, though. The camera's probably harder to see. But we got this. Yeah. This just shows you how fast we can switch out thread. Oh, yeah. No pressure. No pressure now that she said something. We should put them on a time limit, right, people? We should like be like a little timer. Done. No pressure. No pressure. Okay, your time is up. You may now answer your question. Wait, I have a question. What is? No. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Okay, so in the cornerstones, I'm going to end up using the paisley. 
However, in this center block, I wanted to go back to our roots of a good old basic eight. So just to fill up that nice center block, because sometimes we have these blocks that we get in from customers that are a square and a square. Real simple to do. Put a cute paisley border here with some cornerstones, but then just come in with a nice basic eight. So I'm gonna match up all of my corners of the square with my basic eight. Look at you using two stencils together. That's what you gotta Good do job. sometimes. Lightly pounce. That basic eight you can use anywhere. Uh, you can do so much with it. Yeah. And thumps, you were, I was thinking on the fly while you were thinking on the fly, you had feathers in yours. I'm gonna do this cool little feather in design in the center to really just fill up that block. Well, what book was that in? This is your basic eight book three and four. Oh, oh okay. It's yeah. on page 26. Perfect. So. Take my chalk pencil just so we have an idea. Now this one, we're not doing any stems on this one, okay? And we're gonna have start here in the center point, so I'll put an S, and then I'm gonna just come and make it one, two, three, point that, point it down, one, two, three, and make your way all the way around doing that. Fun stuff. So I will bring the machine over. My starting point. And I have a multicolored block. It'll just be so pretty. We meant to do that. Yes, we did. It was all planned that way. That's what we're, we're just going to keep telling ourselves that. <laughs> that it was planned that way. We'll tie off, and here we go. Same thing over here. One, two, three. Point. This one's a little different because I didn't have it chalked out, and that's okay. Well, the, you're just staying with inside the lines, which is great. It, with having those basic eight lines there, no matter what you do, at least you'll have the same dimension, the same right. you know, size. Kind of like hearts. Yeah, kind of. They kind of yeah. have that flow. thread and then it popped inside me. And tie that off and boom. Now you know how I am about my threads. This is going to drive me crazy. Let's pop all that. There we go. So something simple and quick to throw on the inside of that block. Um, that way you can easily work with kind of like this square in the square design that she had here. So to accentuate the lines that she had in this one little section here, I am going to go with, I'm going to do, actually, the, it's kind of get the heart feel, too. You didn't do this one already, did nope. you? Mm. Page six? Okay. That's good. So since this is a tiny little space that we're going to be putting in these cornerstones, I just want to have something really nice and simple in there. So I'll start with this little heart to kind of pull from the heart idea that we have here, and then just do this little clamshell effect all the way up. Ooh. And while he's pouncing that out, we had a question. We are using glide thread on top and on the bobbin. Uh -huh. which we do sell on our online store as well. But yeah, glide thread is what we're using. I love a good glide. And Patricia, glide. I'm trying not to stress out. She's like, why are you tell us not to stress and you're stressing? I know. She, Y'all, thank you for telling her that because <laughs> she stays doing that. I can't help it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do better, though. I think you're doing a great job. You got, your, your motivation I'm, behind me is keeping me going. You're doing a phenomenal job. Okay, so we're going to start at the bottom of this, make our way up whatever side you choose. So starting here, make our way up. Since I didn't draw this out over there with y'all, I'm going to draw it down here. Make our way up and then make our way back down to close off that paisley. I'm going to give myself that first initial heart, just like so. And then, uh, let me switch chalk pencils, there we go. And then from there, more of a clamshell effect all the way up until we get to the point. So it kind of looks like little I would say ghost hearts, maybe. They kind of come disappear. So I'll take a stitch, tie off, and here we go. There, and down. Oh, yeah. That's 
that's definitely a way to pull it together because on a piece block or something like that. For sure. You have your design in the middle. Yeah, super cute. Yeah, kind of pulls it all together. Three different designs, but they all kind of they flow. work with the same family, for instance. Yeah. All right, so I'll do this one as well. We don't have to do all four corners, but I'll do this one as well. So starting down here at the bottom. And let me adjust this camera for y'all so you have a better view. There we go. Come in with our heart. So heart to there. And then clamshell, 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 and out. Just like that. Super cute. Fun stuff. All right, show us your next block. What are you doing on your next one? My what? That was mine. I'm done. <laughs> no, we have some empty space over here. I think you need to use it. Oh, we have some empty space. You think I should use it? Okay. Yeah, this let's come up fun. with one little quick design and then we'll, we'll let the people go. One little quick design. I love how she throws me on the spot <laughs> for all this. I think you should come up with one simple design real quick. We could do two together. No, that kind of got quiet. Okay. Um, so, okay, let's do this. I am back at the drawing board. Um, there is one thing that really caught my eye when I was working on it earlier, and I think I might be able to pull this one off. We'll see. Yeah, we're going to try it out. Um, let's do this. So I'm going to work on page 20 right here. So got some more feathers in here, but you can see that I'm working off the paisley on this one, coming with a nice little curly cue, filling it in with these side pieces, and then hitting it here in the center. So let's see. If I can, I'm trying to think how I would actually be able to. I think I can actually pull that off. Okay. All right. Y'all, I talk to myself all the time. That's okay. So. You're your own best friend. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, it's fine. It's, it's fine. I don't know how to take that. I am my own best friend. You are. You have to be. We have to love ourselves. That's true. We can still stress, but we have to love ourselves. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So I just traced all that out. You got me talking. Oh, goodness. You know how it is when I start talking and doing things. Summer's laughing because she knows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am going to work my way around this paisley. I'm going to start down here and go up. I'm going to come down a little bit, like here. And I am going to work my way backwards with my feathers, but my stem is going to be the fill-in line for the side of this. So I'm going to give it a little bit here. And then I will work my way up and then back down. So I give myself plenty of stem here. So then I'll work my way backwards here. See how I'm doing that? Coming down extra, making my way up and using my overstitch line like I normally would to fill that piece up. like that. You with me? Yeah. You're looking at me crazy. Well, you just changed up the feathers. Yeah, I switched them up a little bit. Yeah, yeah I kind of went a different, different direction. To yeah, yeah so to kind of keep myself from doing a ton of backtracking. Got it. So I've got it there. And then I'm going to come here with my little curly cue. And back down. I'll do one feather, two feather, have a centerpiece, two, two, and then a curly cue on the outside. That's cute. Just like that. A little something extra. Yeah. Um, and then you could meet them up. Let's say maybe you've got, um, I don't know, like maybe like a doll. Or if you're working on a quilt that has pictures, you could use this as hair. If yes, you, you If could. you kind of mirrored it on the other side, you've got hair for hair? Yeah. some sort of different thing. I don't know. Um, you could use it for or add it a couple on different like ideas. Angel wings. You could do angel wings as well. Yes. On the side of a different piece. All sorts of different ideas that you can do with these paisleys. It's just kind of thinking outside the box a little bit of where you can put them and how you'd like them to hit. So I'm going to take this one. We'll place it right here at an angle if I want to or more straight. We'll do it more straight like this one. Pounce powder, lightly brushing on this, nothing crazy, just like that. And if you wanted to flip it and do the opposite side, you could flip it 
Just make sure you might have to use a little bit more pressure um, when you pull the label side up. But then, just like that, you've got you know, hair or wings or any type of thing. That'd be really cute wings behind an applique. Um, say if you've got an angel applique or a cross applique or something like that, a hard applique even, that'd be really cute wings kind of poking out the back of it. Yeah, or you can use those butterfly wings too or bird wings. Yeah, all sorts of different good things. Good suggestions up here. Yeah. All right, so we will take this. Look how we help each other out. I love that. One of the cool things about quilters. Yeah. All right, so we can take this up here. And I'm actually going to travel backwards and fill both of these lines in. And I will make my way back one way or another. All right, so I've got it this way. And just like you, I did the opposite one <laughs> of how I would normally think this out. So it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine here. All right, so I am going to use this as my stem. Working my way down it. Now another thing is sometimes you can get really long on these feathers when you're getting to try to get out of a curve like that. So give yourself just a little one to work from and then you can build off of that little one. It's okay to give yourself a little bit of dimension in this design. So we're filling up those wings just like so. And I am just going to travel right back down that same line as best as I can. My point here, and this is where I'm going to give myself my little curly cue to work off of. So this one's going to be a little tighter, and that's okay. And then I'll give myself my first initial feather, my second initial feather. I have that little bit of that bloop there, two, and then, oh, my backwards curly cue. You know what? I like that. <laughs> Boom. I like what I did there. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose, but I did it. Look at that. I think there that's kind of nifty. Yeah, got okay, a little character. A little character. It's something to think about. It's my signature on all my quilts. So you could do that on that same side, and then you've got some, some hair, some wings, and anything. Yeah, we'll go ahead and finish it out. Oh, okay. It's fine. I was happy just doing one. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I was perfectly fine just doing one. Putting me on the spot. I didn't have time to really trace this out. <laughs> it's fine figure out the exact way I wanted it to go. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Okay. So if we're thinking about mirroring this, we see that our feathers are sticking out to the outside here, so they need to stick to the outside over here. So we are going to basically be taking this a little backwards from thinking. So we talked about how we can get into those curves and the feathers become a little too long. Give yourself a couple little ones here to build off of that fill in that space. And then you kind of more straight up and down again. That way you have a nice, easy workflow. So this gives you two different ideas of how you could either make those feathers really long coming out of that curve or kind of give it a little bit of dimension and drop it with two. Come back down my same line. Uh, and then I've got my curly cue here. Gave myself a little bit of a smaller one there, and that's okay. I like dimension. Let's see if I can get this one right. Ha ha! There you go. Just so like super that. cute. Hmm. A little yeah. something to add on. And you can have a little face in the middle of that one. That would be so cute, his hair. Yeah, hair, give some eyes, and a nose. Yeah, super cool. Eyes, a nose, and a smiley face. Look at that. That's so cute. All righty. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. A little different. It's well, fun. I mean, it's a, different, it's a different shape. It's not your normal shape that you would, like, design stuff in. For sure. Yeah, and so, we I mean, we get these, we play on them, and we let, you know, it's just practice, practice, practice. Mm hmm you know, if we come back and do this in a year and we've practiced a lot, it'll look a lot different. But this just, just shows you how you can just be an awesome beginner and try, 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 and you'll get it, right? For sure. It's all about yeah. that muscle memory and just practicing. Exactly. So super cool, super cool. Cool. All right. So don't forget, we have a coupon code for our books. 
So all of the uh, Design with Line books has 20% off if you use the coupon code that is below. Um, it also has a website, so we want you guys to get as many books as you can mm -hmm. and want. Um, we are now shipping international again. We couldn't do it for a while because of COVID. Um, it just, things weren't getting anywhere. Months. Um, yeah. Oh, months. <laughs> months, yeah. <laughs> getting so, somewhere. But now we are able to ship again, so if you're international, we got you. We got you. We've been yes. shipping out quite a few international the last few days, lots of books and stencils. So and they've we, been getting there pretty quick. Yeah. Knock on wood. Yeah, they really like, have, actually. <laughs> like, good timing. <laughs> like, really fast. I was yeah, surprised. So. Um, but we don't want to, don't, don't. That's what I say. Knock, knock on a bunch knock. of wood. <laughs> so, um, anyway. And so we do have a free shipping offer um, with $75 or more on these products that you're purchasing. Well, I learned last week that you can't use both coupons at once. So use the coupon on the book if you want. She made and me then, look like boo boo the fool. Sitting here telling y'all that and you could then, do this. <laughs> and then she gets, she's like, wait, I actually I, don't think you can. Well, we thought we tried to make, thanks. yeah, we thought we tried to make it work, but it didn't. So anyway, put the coupon code of the books and then just in the notes, if you spent that $75, just say, I want that free shipping and we're going to give it to you um, on those qualified items. All righty. So we're good, right? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Another fun show. We did. We had a lot of good uh, good time yeah. this time, kind of looking at how you can use that different paisley all over the quilt. Well, I got so many ideas in my head right now, too. I really do. It's like all these different things. I'm like, wow, you could do that with that, or you could do that. And then. I love I to know. see this because she likes to stay in her office a lot to see her on a machine. This is good. <laughs> so excited. I don't think I like to stay in there. She likes to I stay have in her to because I have so much office. work to get done. Um, anyway, anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. We love being able to share our ideas with you. And yes. We like to have fun with you. And we're glad that you're watching us and subscribing to our channel so that way you can definitely see new stuff. All right. For sure, for sure. Um, we will see you next week here at After Hours, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Yeah. Um, next week we will be doing some product demos. Yes. You'll just have to click to see exactly which one. Yes, I'm yes. I'm not going to give any away this time. No, definitely. Product demos next week. They'll take a little break from this, do some product demos for you, and then we'll be back we'll be on. Back at it. Yep. Sounds Alrighty. good. All right. All right. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye. bye.